Thanks for tuning into the Trade Setup. I'm Neeraj Shah, and we're starting this again, uh, and hopefully this helps you. Uh, so let's start with the global news flow. Uh, remember, Asian markets are doing okay, so that's to be kept in mind. Um, the S&P 500 profit recovery has revved up on big tech and strong consumer spends uh, and that earnings, and I think that gives a bit of a con comfort to people who are constructive on the U.S. markets. Asian markets today are largely set to extend the gains on the Nasdaq record highs, so that's the positive. There's a small chink in the armor in that uh, the South China Sea tensions are large. Now, Philippines is set to buy five petrol boats from Japan amidst the South, Chi, uh, South Sea <laughs> Uh, South China Sea tensions, and that might have a bit of an impact, if you will. Um, and one, one thing that you should keep at the back of your mind, this is a bit of an unknown risk. Nobody's quite penciling in the impact of a conflict between China and, and some of these Asian nations, including Taiwan, by the way. Uh, and commodities have surged. Wheat has surged on Russia weather wars, even if cocoa has come off. And gold, a big indicator of risk off, has also surged to record highs. It's consolidating near record highs. But be that as it may, the Asian market is looking positive. So, therefore, what's the trade setup? The markets continue. Indian markets continue to be choppy. But remember, they ended 2.5% higher last week. In fact, while the Nifty ended 2.5% higher, the mid caps and the small caps were even higher. BSE mid cap, 6.58%. BSE small cap, 7.4%. So the going is looking very, very strong for our markets, and that might well continue. When did you last see a prime minister talk about the importance of capital markets? And that is what PM Modi has done uh, in the interview that he gave to NDTV Profit. That might probably give even more assurance to some of the capital market participants about the seriousness of no big tinkering with capital market reforms, if you will, on the negative side. Defense stocks stay in focus. Uh, look at shipbuilding companies winning large orders. Look at HAL results and the brokerage notes. Look at Concord commentary around what will happen going ahead. And I think this whole PSU basket is looking very, very strong right now as well. And very interestingly, in the, uh, in the election season, you're starting to see smaller liquor companies gaining traction on the election season. I saw GM breweries, associated alcohols, having some massive run in the last week. So that's one interesting pocket to watch out for in addition to defense, banks, IT, et cetera, et cetera. What about stocks to watch? Let's move to that. Uh, I think topmost on my list is Kalpaturu Projects. They've signed three. Aramco contracts worth about 7,550 crores. These are for expansion of the master gas system network in Saudi Arabia. Very likely that this stick will be substantially higher on open, so watch out for this one. Then IOC has signed a long-term contract with Total Energies for supply of LNG as per media reports. This is a second contract that the company has done. Remember, LNG is going to be imported in huge droves in the country over the course of the decade. Watch out for IOC, may react in the session today. Then start looking at results. So Whirlpool, revenues up 3.6%, nothing great, but margins and profitability looking strong for Whirlpool. EBITDA margin at 8.3%, profits looking okay, up 25%. So this one could do well in the session today. Watch out for this one. Anupam Rasayan sadly may not do well. Revenues are down 16.5% at 401 crores versus 480. Margins are down, PAT is lower. Not the best of numbers, even if the commentaries look constructive. I think the stock could react negatively today. Watch out for this one. Again, on the flip side, watch out for data patterns. Revenues were down, but strong margins, <coughs> excuse me, and very strong pat numbers as well, and decent commentary. So data patterns could well be a stock which has gained 5%, yes, but could do more in the session today. So that's to be watched out for as well. Uh, some numbers which didn't do well. So Trident, pat was down 54%, weak quarter four. Um, VRL Logistics, pat down 89%, very weak. Kempla Sunmar and Apollo Pipes are the other two. Pat down 57% for Apollo Pipes. Kempla Sunmar had a loss versus a pad of 46 crores. So we quarter for each of these four names. They could do slightly weaker in the session today. I'm running out of time, am I? No, I'm not. Let's discuss some of the important brokerage notes. So Cities counted a note on Concord. They maintained a buy. The target price has been increased to 1340 versus 1100 currently. They say that they, Concord has surprised positively with unusually strong growth guidance for FY25. And the exim volume guidance at 15% and domestic volume growth at 25% is positive. If indeed the lease, land lease fees, a land license fees comes off, then that's an added positive. Remember, Jeffries too has upped the target to 1240 versus 1110 earlier. Watch out for Concord in the session today. Could be positive. Uh, Vodafone idea. City is not on Vodafone idea. The reason I bring Vodafone is it's everybody's favorite currently. Uh, the important part is not the neutral rating and the target price of 15. The important price is what they say ahead. That one, focus on execution going forward, but more importantly, they say that the upside in the bull case could be material. 
uh, if indeed Vodafone delivers on everything, but it hinges on a lot of things, including government support, which has been unequivocally evident in the recent months. So watch out. If everything turns out well for Vodafone, the stock could really do well as per brokerages. So that's one more that you've got to watch out for. Godrej Properties could be interesting. Uh, Morgan Stanley's added uh, the stock to the GEM Asia Pacific X Japan focus list as they've removed Apollo hospitals. They say that their commentary, their guidance, etc., everything looks very good. And even the leverage ratios look good for Godrej properties. So Morgan Stanley is very constructive on the higher pre-sales and the potential margin improvement. So that's to be watched out for. And there is one more um, uh, brokerage note, if I'm not wrong. Uh, one, of, one of course, Godrej properties. The other one is Sansera. Nomura has come out with a buy rating with a target price of 1368, which is a 31% upside. Multiple factors, including the fact that the valuations for Sansera look a lot more reasonable to Nomura. They believe that the, comp the company targeted to grow at 20% is actually a bit of mid-modest because the current momentum for Sansera is very, very strong. So, well, these are a few stocks that you certainly should keep an eye out for in the session today. I hope this trade setup, this version of the trade setup, helps you in planning your trade better. Thanks so much for tuning in to NDTV Profit.